While we're at it, I am going to do the fourth transformation because it's the next thing we're doing anyways. Now I'm going to actually use the GeoGebra software that I downloaded. Maybe we can look at some of the other features to it too. So this is the icon for GeoGebra software when you download it. Again, it's a free software. Just make sure your parents let you download it. So we open up GeoGebra. And make it full. Now, I like to get rid of things in layout. I can get rid of axes, or I can bold the axes. I can actually get a grid in there if you want to see a grid. See, they get you a grid. You can do different grids. I don't want a grid, I just want it blank. So, we are going to do dilation. So, again, get a polygon. Dilation needs a point to dilate from. Now, can be a point on it, and that's okay. So we'll go with one of those first. So dilate from a point by a factor. So we're going to need a point, and we're going to pick one on it, and then we're going to need a multiplication factor. It can be 0.5. It can be 2.7. It can be negative 0.5. Different things happen. So we're going to go from D. And let's go 2.5. And boom. You see what's happened? We got bigger because 2.5 multiplication. What it's saying is that all the distances from D are going to get 2.5 bigger. So let us measure those. For example, from the original D to C is 2.87. Now, the new one, D prime to C prime, is going to be two and a half times that. Maybe I can make this a three. You see, three times two and a half gets us to 7.5. So everything got multiplied by 2.5. Now, let's go by a point not on it. Same kind of thing's going to happen. It's going to get multiplied. And we need a point, and we need to dilate. So we're going to dilate this from here to 2.5. And it got two and a half times bigger. Notice how much bigger the areas are. Is that two and a half times? Our original area is 15. Our new one's 94. What's 15 times 2 and a half? Well, 15 times 2 is 30. And half of 15 is like 7 and a half. So that'd be like 37 and a half. That's not 37 and a half. So we've got to figure out why that went to 94. So again, we talk about distances being 2 and a half times bigger. It's a distance from the pivot point. So let's measure that. From G to A is 4.55. From G to A prime... 11.38. Does it seem like it's two and a half times farther? Let's see if I can get that to be a five. So five times two and a half. We got some rounding error going on, but two and a half times five is 12 and a half. So that worked out pretty good. Now, here's what's really happening. Everything is moving on array. So if A is 5 centimeters away from G, A prime will be 12 and a half, or 2.5 times 5, will be 12 and a half centimeters away from G on that same ray. They all get their own ray, and everything's on that ray. It's just that they are 2 and a half times farther away. That is a dilation. Now, that was a multiplication factor bigger than 1. Let's go multiplication factor less than 1. So we got our polygon. Got that. We're going to dilate. We're going to go 0 0.6. It got smaller. 
So again, it's a multiplication factor. Let's say b is 10 away from g. Well, b prime will be 0.6 times 10 away from b, from g. So we've got it's shrinking down. It's still all on that ray. I need my ray. It's still on a ray. It's all on that line. It's just instead of being two and a half times farther away, it's now 0.6 farther away, which actually brings it closer. Then we can go negative. So if we want to make things smaller, do a multiplication factor, do a dilation factor, scale factor between 0 and 1. If we want to make something bigger, scale factor bigger than 1. Let us go negative scale factor. And we need a point. So we're going to dilate that through that. Negative 2. Guess where it's going to be and what it's going to be. Boom. It got bigger because the factor is bigger than 1. But the negative put it on the other side. It's still a factor of 2, so it's going to be twice as far. So let's measure F to, let's measure F to D. 5.3, F to D prime, 10.66. Is it twice as far away? Yeah, we're twice as far away. And we are still on that line. It's no longer a ray, it's a line because it's going backwards. So let's draw a line between the pivot, between the dilation point and D. Here's a line between F and D. Well, look where D prime is. It is on that line. Let's make sure it happens for most of Oh, F to B is a line. B prime is on a line. So if B is 3 away from F, since we have a scale factor of 2, B prime will be 2 times 3, 6 away. That's what negative does. It takes it to the other side. And negative scale factor, let's try our final option, a negative scale factor less than 1. What you think? What you think? We're going to dilate that through that point. Negative 0 0.6 on the other side and smaller. That is dilation. It changes size and it changes location.